This year's American Music Award goes to. This year's American Music Award goes to. This year's American Music Award goes to. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Does anyone else see a trend here? I feel like Taylor Swift wins every award she's nominated for. Okay, maybe it's not every award she's nominated for. It's the most awards. Shut up. She wins most of the- If she's in the category, I feel like I already know she's gonna win. It doesn't matter. And this year, for like- Okay, so she's a country singer, and at least originally. And I know that people cross over, like their music can be liked by all types- Sorry. All types of people. As far as genres go, like, you know, you can be a great hip-hop artist, but you really have a song that's crossed over to pop. You can be a great country artist and have a song that's crossed over to pop. But her hit songs off the album, I feel like they just sound so poppy to me. And maybe that's just me being silly. I don't know. But they sound like they're very pop. And I'm not saying she's not country anymore. But... I feel like Miranda Lambert and Carrie Underwood had stronger country albums this year. I just, I just do. I feel like they definitely did. But, of course, Taylor wins. And it's like there's a Taylor clause. No matter what the category is, or how much you like the song, or how much you like the video, if Taylor is in that category, Taylor's gonna take home the award. So you might as well stop crossing your little fingers, cheering for the other people. Because Taylor's in the category, she's taking it home, guys. That's just how it works. I, it feel, I, I don't know. I don't know. She takes home, like everything. I don't know. And I'm not saying she's not a good artist. Like I love Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is great. I like her songs. At least I have a Taylor Swift T-shirt. I don't have any problem with Taylor Swift. Like I love her music. I just don't feel like. I feel like she wins everything, and sometimes I. I'm not sure why. I mean, but I like Taylor Swift now. Okay, don't, don't get me wrong. And also, speaking of Taylor Swift and award shows, can we just revisit that um VMA moment when um One Direction was up there with their award, and then Taylor was down there and she was just so sweet, so angelic. And she decided to whisper words of encouragement to them. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. No, day day. No. Or and she accepted her award, and she was just like, And for you out there, you know who you are. I've got one too. No, 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 no. Well, I don't know if that was directed to One Direction, dude. Maybe not. Right. And I don't know if I quoted it right, so whatever. But the point is, it's not, it's not becoming. Don't do that. It, it, it just all seems kind of childish to me. I don't know. But um, also, it's just like I don't know. She takes things too personally. I mean, relationships, okay, it could have been very personal. It was just, I just wouldn't do that on TV, because it, it looks bad. But, you know, like, there was this one award show, I don't remember which one, but Amy Poehler and Tina Fey made a little jokey joke, just a little joke, but, um, okay. They said something along the lines of, you know, she dates a lot of guys, and Michael J. Fox better lock his son up, because Taylor's out, something like that. Anyway, a little jokey joke. <laughs> Funny. But Taylor's response was, There's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. Ouch. Uh, ouch. Is it that serious? It, it was a joke. It wasn't even that bad of a joke. A special place in hell? Ouch! Seriously? But, I, I mean, you know what? I don't know. I don't know her life. 
maybe that really dug deep into her soul. Um, okay. I, the point is, really, it's not about that. It's not about her award show behavior, not about her boyfriend, it's not about her sense of humor. Which, once again, I like her. I think she's adorable. She's awesome. You ever seen her on Ellen? Those things are funny. Like, the time Ellen scared her and she fell in the bathroom? That was funny. Whatever. Point is, I, I she wins everything. Everything. And I just don't see how it's possible. I hope one day I could win everything. But then, also, I don't. Because there's some things that I feel like I would be, like, in the wrong category for. And that's okay. I, I don't know. I feel like she wins everything. One day, you're going to hear this. And the award for Boxer of Forever. Shut up. Don't judge me. Greatest Boxer Forever. Um, nominees include Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, Taylor Swift, Oscar De La Hoya, Mike Tyson, and the award goes to, I don't know how to do a drum roll, Taylor Swift! Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say, you can do whatever you put your mind to, and just don't give up, and don't let anybody tell you that you're not special, because one day, you could be the boxer of the year. <laughs> right. But, no. I don't. I don't get it. Well, maybe you get it. I don't know. But I feel like she wins everything. That's it. That's just my take on it. Okie dokie. Well, see you later.